Just this week, CMMG launched the first AR platform firearm chambered in 4.6x30. In this video, we're going to get hands on with it. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to get this AR pistol out of the box. This is the 300 level Banshee. So this is the deluxe trim level, if you will. Look at that Cerakote. I love that green. And I mean love. Check this out. Ready for it? 40 round mags. We've got two there. We've got the requisite gun lock, which is gonna go straight into the trash can because I use gun safes like you should too. And then we've got the instruction sheet. Okay, that's what's in the box. Next, we're gonna talk about what CMMG has brought to the table for this platform. So let's take a look at this Banshee pistol. I wanna walk through kind of some of the basic features. We've got the rip brace, which you can extend without actuating the lever and you can collapse with the lever. It's got a lot of premium features, including the QD cup here. We've got M-Lock on the handguard. This is a 300 level trim. So this has got basically the deluxe Cerakote job. It's got the SV muzzle brake. This is an eight inch barrel. Let's uh, take off the upper and we'll uh, see some of the special bits for a 4.6 by, by 30. So obviously the barrel is gonna be different because it's 4.6 millimeter bore and it's also chambered for 4.6 by 30. The bolt carrier group is something that CMMG spent quite a bit of time and effort on. It's got the 4.6 bolt face. That obviously is a unique feature, but also in terms of the gas system, it's a modified direct impingement and this bolt carrier group is gonna be what makes it all work seamlessly. So a bit of adaptation to make this work with this pistol, but uh, as a system, this is gonna function like pretty much any other PCC, except it's gonna be chambered in 4.6 by 30. The bullets are lighter, that means the recoil should be quite a bit more tame compared to even 223, which is not real bad, and these 40 round magazines are the other part of the equation. You've got the barrel, you've got the bolt carrier group, and you've got these magazines. CMMG designed these magazines to work with a standard AR mag well. So that means that long term, this is gonna be a very friendly platform for AR builders and modders, which I think is, is really cool. 40 rounds, that's a lot of capacity. We've got two magazines here. I'm really looking forward to shooting this Banshee. Okay, next we're gonna talk about 4.6x30 101. So in order to put 4.6x30 in perspective, I'm thinking to break it down in this way. There's 4.6x30, look at this little guy. Pretty cute, isn't it? <laughs> and then we've got that right next to some 223 ammunition. Now, for a follow-on story, I'm planning on including 5.7 by 28 in the mix, but I don't have that right now. So I'm gonna to have to work on acquiring some of that. But I do have the specs for all three of those cartridges. I think it's an interesting comparison. So starting with bullet diameter, we've got 4.65 for the 4.6. So where does the 4.6 come from? That's gotta be the lens diameter and the bullet diameter corresponds more closely to the groove diameter. The 5.7x28 is a 22 caliber. So it's 5.7 millimeter bolt diameter, which is 224. Same with 5.56 and 223. 5.7 five, bolt diameter and 224, something that you're probably familiar with. Here's where things get interesting, is the rim diameter, which is gonna correspond to the bolt face in your rifle. For 4.6x30, it's an eight millimeter rim diameter, which is 315 thousandths of an inch. For 5.7x28, it's 7.8 millimeters or 307. So that is eight thousandths difference. And I'm wondering what that does for interoperability. That's gonna be something I'm gonna research. For the time being, I'm assuming that these are different bolt face specifications. And then for 5.56 five, and 223, you've got 9.6 millimeters, which is 378. Bullet weight, 
for the 46 by 30 would vary somewhere in the 23 to 40 grains range. I'm still researching and I've got some unique ammunition that's new inbound in the near future, so I'm looking forward to that. We've got 40 grain Fiocchi to test here. 57 by 28, somewhere in the 26 to 43 grain territory. It's similar in weight to the 46 by 30. And for 556, I mean, this could vary all over the place. Uh, 50 to 77 grains is a good kind of the main part of the bell curve, if you want to think of that typical ammunition that you're going to see in, a, you know, a 223 or 556 bolt gun or uh, an AR for that matter. Typical velocity for the 46 by 30, you're in the 2200 foot per second range. For 57 by 28, you're in the 2500 foot per second range. And then the, for the 556 and 223, you're in the 3200 foot per second range. Okay, consider this 101 high level comparison data. I just wanted to put some of this in perspective. When you hold up these rounds side by side, you're going to see there is literally a huge difference. Now, what's that going to mean when we go to shoot? That's what we're going to find out next. Ah, the moment has come. So I've got 30 rounds loaded up. Yes, that's only three quarters of a tank. Uh, I put on a red dot. This is a sight mark. It's worked well for me in the past. And uh, what I'm wondering is, am I even remotely sighted in? So I'm going to get on some steel here. We'll take our first shots. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. And, oh. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Well, you know, I think I know what's next, and that's to throw on the suppressor. Let's get some chronograph data, too. So I've got the Omega 300, I screwed that down. I already had the half by 28 cap on there from shooting some 22. This is feeling like a really nice, well-balanced package. I've got 10 rounds here. So we're gonna shoot some suppressed 46 by 30 and capture uh, 10 rounds of chronograph data at the same time. Let's see what this is gonna look like. missed the last shot <laughs> okay that's uh that's got a really nice impulse to it this thing is super shootable it's a great package that's what i was after shooting this banshee ar pistol in 4.6 awesome it's hard to describe it feels a lot like shooting 223 but just with less recoil and that makes it more enjoyable, obviously. Love the fact that I have up to 40 rounds of ammunition packed in each magazine, and the suppressor just brought things to the next level. Taking that muzzle blast down makes it even more enjoyable to shoot, especially when you're shooting steel targets like we were. It makes the steel hit much louder in comparison and enhances the experience. The sight mark sight works awesome as well. And one of the things we did was we looked at velocity. So let's look at that data. We had an average velocity of 1,965 feet per second, which is above 1,900 feet per second, which is advertised by Fiocchi. Our standard deviation was 28.7 feet per second, and our extreme spread was 78 feet per second. In summary, I really like the Banshee in 4.6. 4.6 is unique, and it has some great benefits. The muzzle flash is a lot less than something like 223 or 556. The recoil is a lot less than something like 223 or 556. Even comparing this to my 9mm Banshee, that's throwing 147 grain projectiles downrange, whereas this is throwing a 40 grain projectile downrange. It's just a lot of fun, and as we see more 46 by 30 ammo come online, hopefully what we're gonna see is it's available and it's really cost effective. That was a couple of the goals behind this specific investment on CMMG's part. Here's what I have planned. This is part one. I wanted to introduce you guys to 46 by 30. I wanted to talk about this new Banshee and the components and parts and the system that CMMG has put together with the bolt carrier group, the barrel, and the magazines. These 40 round magazines are 
awesome. If you want capacity, this is a really, really great solution. Part two, what I have in mind, is to compare three different cartridges ballistically. 4.6x30 is going to be kind of the main theme, but I want to compare that to 5.7x28. I want to compare it to 2.2.3 and 5.5.6. We're talking about velocity, we're talking about energy, we're talking about ballistics gel result. There's some new ammunition coming out for 4.6x30 that I'm hoping to get my hands on here soon. It'd be really interesting to compare all three. What's more, I'm working on getting my recoil rig online and I'd like to compare recoil across the board with those cartridges as well. They're kind of in that same class. I know people have kind of this interest in this type of AR pistol. Those are going to be some, some rounds that are going to be pretty similar. So that should be pretty fun. Part three I have planned, and this is kind of a work in progress. There are reloading dies for 46 by 30 uh, I'm looking at what kind of projectiles can, can I get my hands on. I'd like to look at reloading as well. So that's what I have planned. I want to know two things. First, what did you think of 46 by 30 and this Banshee? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Second is, what do you think about my ideas for kind of rounding out this three-part series? I would love to get your feedback on that as well. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.